Good day everyone. I'm Wendy Lazado from B and 2 C. For today's video, I will discuss about Scale Bix Curriculum Development Model. Let us know the person behind this model. Who is Malcolm Scalbick? Malcolm Preston Scalbick was an Australian educator who worked in the educational policy analysis, curriculum, tertiary, and secondary education, the teaching profession, and educational motivation. He established many books, magazines, and papers. The Skelbic model of curriculum is developed in the year 1976. It is more comprehensive framework which can encompasses either the process model or the objective model depending on which aspects of the curriculum are being designed. It does not presuppose a linear progression through its components. Teachers can begin at any stage and activities can develop concurrently. The five steps of a Skelvic model are situational analysis, objectives or goal formulation, design or program building, interpretation and implementation, and the last one is evaluation, monitoring, feedback, assessment, and reconstruction. The first step is situational analysis. Situational analysis is a process of examining factors that exist in environment or society where curriculum is implemented. Situational analysis is described in two, two phase, external and internal. In external, it includes culture and social changes, while in internal, is the pupils, aptitudes, abilities, and define the educational needs, also the teacher's values, attitudes, and skills. Lastly, is the material resources. The second step is the objectives or the goal formulation. Skillback assigns a decision-making role to the teachers, senior staff, and principals the development of objectives for the school-based curriculum. The curriculum is for the learner and teacher. Made up of experiences, this should be experiences of values. Third step is the program building. It comprises of selection of subject matter for learning, the sequencing of pictures, learning episodes, the deployment of staff and the choice of supplementary materials. Fourth step is interpretation and implementation. It is your practical problems that anticipated and hopefully will be resolved. And lastly, evaluation. Scale back list the problems of continuous assessment as being of central concern during the evaluation, Scalebeck preserves the role of the teacher to be central during evaluation phase to ensure continual reconstruction of the curriculum. Conclusion According to Canis 2020, Scalebeck's model locates curriculum design and development firmly within a cultural framework. It views such as a means whereby teachers modify and transform pupil experience through providing insights into cultural values, interpretative frameworks, and symbolic systems. Thank you for listening.